Yes. Good evening and welcome to Fourth Mathematical Analysis. Um, like I said, um, the major leagues are off for the season, and um, you know, like I said, um, I am trying to do a lot of um, jobs in the off season to bring to us more of the efficacy of mathematical involvement in um, predictions and outcomes in football. Like normally, I've always said football is all about um, prediction because it's a real life event. So normally football is not fixed. Football is a real life event and it could go any way. No, but normally, like I said, in mathematical analysis, mathematical analysis is all about the involvement of numbers, repetition of numbers, or you know, numbers that keep appearing in a football game. In terms of prof mathematical analysis, those numbers are viable numbers, and these numbers could result in giving us outcomes in or for a particular game. Today I'll be talking about a Moroccan League game, FES Rabat versus Hassania Agadia. And like we all know, these two teams, S Rabat is in third, Hassania is in seventh, and FCF Rabat has 53 points, and uh, Hassania has 38 points. And these two teams have played 33 times since um, 2006. These two teams have played 33 times since 2006. And um, Robert has won from the 33 times. Robert has won, I think, um, 10 times. And Hassan has won, I think, 10 times, if I am not mistaken. So these two teams play are very competitive and um, usually their games are usually high scoring. Now, but what am I trying to tell us today? You know, like this number here, 38. This number here, 38, it's a good number. And like I said, shots on target and fouls in a match. Shots on target and fouls in a match. So, unlike the involvement of football, I said the game between um, Chelsea versus Man City in performance analysis, we have this 1.19 where Chelsea lost to Man City and also Chelsea lost to Man U. Chelsea lost to Man City 0 1 and Chelsea lost to Man U 4 1, which I predicted on prof mathematical analysis. So, today's game with a promising game and um, like I said is a 1x or 1.5 and it can also be a go go now players to watch out for Ra FCF Rabat is H Hanori H Hanori to score or assist and Joseph Gwede to perform very nice in today's match to give us this possible scoreline outcome of a 1 1 2 1 0 2 or a 2 2. And then for Hazana Agade, we have A Kaidi and we have Y Mary. These players are to turn up tonight to make tonight's game a befitting and a beautiful game to watch. And uh, like I said, outcomes like a 1x, a 1.5. Number seven, I have a go-go. And I said over 6.5 shots on target because it's a high tempo game and both sides are on each other's neck to perform. And we're going to have um, a 5.5 corners. We're going to have a 5.5 corners. And we're going to have a 17.5 foul. And we're going to have another 3.5 cuts. So for the bookmakers, for the bookers, and so on and so forth, these are possible outcomes 
And for lovers of football, like I have always said, that prof mathematical analysis is to increase our love for football, to increase our love for football, and also neglecting the deficiencies of the losing team. So invariably, you can find out that S.U.S. Rabat may win Hazania, but you discover that Hazania may shoot two to three shots on target, which is a viable um, outcome for book um, makers because of this possible number here. So like I said, please do well to follow Prof. Mathematical Analysis. Prof. Mathematical Analysis. Prof. Mathematical Analysis dot blog spot dot com dot ng. So please enjoy this game like I always predict mostly um, international games and high Premier League games but I decided to post an African game to show us an inclusiveness that Prof. Mathematical Analysis is not all about high profile teams but we are also into African team predictions. So take a chill drink and enjoy today's match. Thank you.